For many years now, Mega Constructs have ran a special limited run series called the Black Series. And in each of these waves, we have unique figures from across franchises, video games, TVs, movies, you name it. We've had Star Trek, He-Man, Alien vs Predator, just so many special IPs that touch fans in many different ways. Here we've got three of them, and I've opened these in a previous video, you know, Mega Constructs Black Series is awesome, part one, and today we're back for part two. Here here we've got Kratos, Skeletor, and the Predator. They are all super highly detailed figures, and I'm so happy to have a load of these. The Predator might be my favorite just because of that camo pattern below his armor. Kratos is also great, but unfortunately the humidity in Hong Kong has snapped his belt, but he still looks really good. And then Skeletor as well. I have the He-Man, but the He-Man is currently my sexy Master Chief, which you can see a different video of. Uh, he's called Swole Master Chief, and I did a pop and swap with the Chief and He-Man. We got three of these today and we're going to open four brand new packs. Sam Fisher from Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. Another Predator, but this time AC style. And then two Borderlands figures. Clap Trap Blue. <laughs> uh, I haven't played Borderlands 3 yet, but yeah, Clap Trap Blue and the Psycho. And yes, the Psycho was also used in my Swole Master Chief video. That's why it's sellotaped. I wanted to unbox it with you guys. I got four of these, and honestly, this seems like it's going to be the end of the Black Series. Mega Construct seems to have put that whole thing to a standstill, which is a shame. I've always said the Black Series is a really great way to sort of slightly tease the potential of Mega Constructs with these IPs, and then if people want to roll with it, if fans really support it, then they can make loads more. You take, I mean, the best example, right, is He-Man. Like, there's been a few of these He-Man series now, and now bigger sets. Same with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. All right, so we got these four Black Series packs to open today. I'm gonna start with the one that uh, I wasn't going to pick up, but one of my friends actually sent me this, and I'm really happy I do have it now, especially with that silencer. I'm looking forward to it. So this is Sam Fisher from Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. I I have not played many Tom Clancy games. I played Rainbow Six Siege quite a lot. You know, I've got an appreciation for the franchise. Like, I've definitely played small amounts at different people's houses, and it is a really fun time. And this is Sam Fisher, you know, the, uh, I, from what I believe, again, I <laughs> haven't played them much, but I believe Sam Fisher is the main guy, the lead dude in the franchise. All right, we'll start with the pistol that I mentioned. This is, uh, actually really nice. Oh, <laughs> oh no, it's gone. And recovered from the ground, we've got this little pistol. It's unfortunately not painted, you know, there's no, did I just, did I just drop the silencer as well? The silencer just clips on here, and yeah, this definitely could have done with some paint application, like this is just a bare pistol, but I mean, it's still okay. I imagine, I don't know, but I imagine this is just gonna be a Call of Duty pistol reused, like that would definitely make sense to me, but hey, I mean, it's, it's still nice all the same, it's a nice, uh, nice little silencer, but then we've got the main star of the show for this pack, we've got Sam Fisher. Um, originally, I thought maybe the goggles would come off. No, it's just uh, one mold, but that's okay again. It's it's not that bad. I'm not the biggest expert on these molds. I'm certainly not a big expert on Call of Duty Mega Blocks, but I would imagine that a lot of this is just Call of Duty. I would go as far as saying that it's probably just gonna be the head that's a new mold. Maybe this arm, because you can see there's some silver detailings on here. But other than that, I, I really don't think there'll be any extra molds here. The boots actually are on a little swivel here, so you can definitely uh, position him better, but when you actually swivel the foot round, it sort of becomes a little dislodged. You can see a hole there, so it's not like, it's not the best. This head is definitely the best piece. It's got a lot of detail there. The beard is really well applied. It's even got some different colors in the beard. This green on the night vision goggles is excellent, and then the silver on those straps. I don't know my Sam Fishers, but I think this is probably some kind of wrist attachment from the game. And then we've also got these weapon holsters on both of the legs, but I don't see any hole for this pistol to go in. Yeah, no, there's no way to holster that pistol. That is very strange. It's like, why why literally put these holster attachments and no way to holster his own gun? All right, well, Sam Fisher's, it's, it's okay. <laughs> Again, good paint apps. Uh, a little lackluster, to be honest. But hey, I mean, if you're a Tom Clancy fan, then maybe this is right up your alley. I'm gonna move on to something that is more up my alley. Like, I absolutely love the Predator, and I'm gonna be really excited to compare these two 
side by side. Let's dump all these out. Oh, there's even more in the bottom. Okay. The predator. Wow. Look at this. Whoa, that is, see, that is really cool. I should have started with this in the video because that Sam Fisher was a bit disappointing, but this is really nice. This gives me such similar vibes to the Julem Dharma half AC Halo Heroes figure. They've literally got the paint of like the camo, like the jungle, and they've basically painted it on top of an AC figure. So that is like definitely the way to do it. That works so well. And you also have, yeah, the AC is just transitioning right through his body. You can see like big gaps of AC where there's no paint and uh, oh, that's really nice. That is such a cool molding. I believe they're gonna be the same mold. I don't see why they wouldn't be, but let's put all the accessories on first. He's got his claws and I believe these accessories are in full AC. There's no uh, sort of transitioning AC on those, but there doesn't need to be. The little ray gun essentially, the little pistol just slots on the top and then it inserts into the peg hole in the back of his torso and it means that this pistol can rotate round so it can sort of like seek out its enemy, you know, remotely, which is uh, sort of all the Predator's deal. Look at that slashing arm. That's so dope. Definitely the exact same. There is nothing different about these two figures, but there definitely doesn't need to be. Like, this is just a really well-executed figure and an excuse to buy another Predator because these are, like, definitely one in the same. Yeah, if you popped off one of the heads, you could even have your normal Predator about to transition into AC, which is really, really badass. I always pray this one for having just some of the best paint apps in the business and I'm happy to see that its successor also has really sick paint applications really really nice see Base plates for these are super, super plain, like literally as plain as possible. Just a black base plate. And that is a bit of a downgrade. In the past, we've had these black base plates as well, but in the past, we've also had like the He-Man ones are three pieces that snap together. And considering these are building block products, this just makes more sense. The most basic displays possible. But I also think that uh, the people that buy these aren't really in for the displays. It's not like Halo Heroes where you want your series sort of divvied up. These are just, you know, standalone characters. This predator is really badass. Really badass. And that means we've got two left and they're both Borderlands. Yes. Let's get that Psycho open because as you can see, I've literally just taped this shut. I opened it for my Swole Master Chief video and taped it back up because I wanted to open it with you. That's actually very nice. Really nice uh, instruction manual there. Shows off the other ones in the line. Yep, we had the Sam Fisher, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Predator, and the two Borderlands. So literally the only one we're missing from this set is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. I guess I never checked the other ones. I guess the Predator's probably gonna be really dope too, isn't it? See, I love that. I love when they make some kind of nice mock-up. This jungle design, really cool. Is the Sam Fisher packaging gonna be as disappointing as the Sam Fisher? <laughs> well, no, it's pretty good. All right. It's funny they also include instruction manuals for something that's pre-built, but that's where we're at. Here he is, the Psycho. Now this, this is a detailed figure. Look at it. It's so good. I mean, it's just, just buzzing with paint apps, right? It's just, they're everywhere. The mask to begin with is super, super detailed. We've got like four or five colors in that thing. It's a plain head underneath, but the mask is strapped on with these brown leather pieces. Look at all that detail, man. That is so good. Those oranges, blues, and blacks. It's very impressive that they can make this figure look like the art style from Borderlands, right? Like these clap traps, they're very nice, but this is like properly the art style of Borderlands. Just those black outlines on vivid colors. It's rare that you actually see paint applications on the second part of the limbs. Usually they are less detailed. I love those. Oh, at, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Wait, wait, what? <gasps> what is that? Is, wait, did that just happen? Whoa. I guess we found out how Mega applies. Oh my goodness. It's like a new age sticker situation. Whoa, goodness me. All right, well, aside from that, come on Mega, I was just giving you a lot of compliments. <laughs> aside from that, really dope figure. It comes with this uh, random weapon. Comment down below if you know what this weapon is. I would love to know which of these franchises you are a fan of. Predator, Tom Clancy, or Borderlands. This is a really exceptional one. I'm very impressed by both of these. They are just top, top notch. Like, it's just, when, when you think about the amount of detail that goes into this small figure, when I see pictures of these on Instagram, they look like they could be like a six inch figure. They're just so highly detailed. Very, very impressive. One more Borderlands for today. 
I'm doing a video soon. I just ordered all the pieces for it. I'm going to open on camera every SDCC Halo figure that's ever been released. It's going to be a really exciting video. Borderlands. Yeah, just just such a dope design. Like, I love that. Uh, yeah, I remember you have like loads of little accessories in this bag. It was sealed very tightly shut, but I mean, you can see why. You don't want to lose any of these pieces. So we got the clap trap blue just such a really well detailed figure like really well designed figure so cute i'm sending the borderland one straight to my brother him and his girlfriend are big borderlands fans and look you get a piece of pizza you get a random piece of pizza i might keep the pizza this antenna this i guess this is the only one oh yeah these are his ears nice little flap it's just those kind of pieces they couldn't just build into the mold and i guess it's probably way easier for a human hand to do that than a machine so they're like uh this bit's up to you guys look at those little ears popped onto the display stand because he's always like scooting around in the weirdest kind of way so that makes sense but then how does the antenna go on oh yeah it goes in this little one doesn't it this tiny hole i thought it went in the main one i think i made that mistake the first time i unboxed a claptrap and that is our figure really really nice if you're a fan of borderlands grabbing these two to have on your desk is just such a lovely thing honestly these are just the cutest little pair then if you're a predator fan i mean wow these are these are super super impressive to me so they are uh, really great i'm happy i bought these or i got sent some of them this one is not very good uh, you know what i mean i'll just be honest with you i'm transparent on this channel it's not a very good figure there's barely any paint applications i'm sure a lot of this is reused he's got the exact same knee guards as the borderlands Borderlands character, except this one has paint apps, except one of the paint apps flew off. <laughs> <laughs> what a bizarre thing. I'm glad I got that on camera. That's so strange. Sam Fisher, you're okay. These three, really exceptional. So let me know in the comments down below, guys, if you have got any of these yourself. Are you a big fan of the Black Series of Mega Constructs? I believe I'm under good intel that they have canceled the Black Series line now. I think the last one was the new line of He-Man figures. And if that's the case, real shame, because it's such a great way to embrace small franchises that you can't put in the money to like make big sets, but you still want to celebrate the heroes and the villains and you can put together these cool little displays so uh, i hope they get revived in the future i hope they continue and yeah thank you so much for tuning in today this was another video with the domain let me know if you want to see more black series figures or what kind of content you're enjoying on my channel now and welcome to the new almost 2,000 subscribers in the last month it's wild shout out to you all you stay awesome you stay safe and the black series figures are signing off <laughs>